go over it and see what happens. Um, so in this one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to kind of do a little bit longer way just because I know there's quicker ways to go about these problems. But if you guys just kind of follow these steps, you guys can always just, I think it just makes it a little bit easier sometimes to go through these doing this method. So what I like to do is you guys agree that 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. Yes? 2 times 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 2 times 3. Would you guys agree? Yeah. OK, yeah, makes sense. So what I want you guys to understand is, again, we're looking at a problem. Everything is separated by multiplication, right? Everything is separated by multiplication or division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the terms together. I'm going to rewrite the numbers first. So I just have 4. Then I'm going to do the x's times x squared times x times, then I'll do the y's, y cubed times y, all over 20 times x to the fifth times x cubed times y to the sixth. So does everybody see what I did? It's not necessary, but I think it's helpful to get the numbers, the x's, and the y's together. Because when I have them by each other, I know that I can apply the rules of exponents when they have the same base. Now let's look at the numbers. Well, 20 doesn't divide into 4, but I can reduce the fraction 4 20ths as 1 fifth. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mul I'm actually going to use the product rule of my exponents. So if you guys remember, when you multiply exponents, you add the powers. So basically, this is x to the 2 plus 1, y to the 3 plus 1, all over x to the 5 plus 3. And this is just y to the 6th. So by doing this, I now obtain x cubed over y to the 4th divided by 5x to the 8th y to the 6th. So we see that? Now, I can apply the division property of exponents. And the division property states, or the quotient property, states that when you divide, Terry, are you checking your answer? Or who are you? So now you subtract the powers. So therefore, this can become um, 1 fifth times x to the 3 minus 8 and y to the 4 minus 6. So therefore, that's going to become 1 fifth times um, x to the negative fifth, y to the negative second. Now notice, that again, these are in the numerator. What? Am I just going too fast? Well, guys, all you do is rearrange. When you do the product rule, you add the powers. When you do the quotient rule, you subtract the powers. So you're adding powers and you're subtracting powers. I'm just showing you like every single step. Now, the last rule that we're using is we cannot rewrite them with negative powers. We have to write them with positive powers. So my final answer is going to be 1 over 5x to the fifth y to the second. So to write them as po positive powers, we have to rewrite them in the denominator. Yes? Uh, I don't like that you do it that way because it's like, you think it's less confusing. You could do it much simpler way. You can do show as many slits and steps. It's just the amount of steps that you can do with this. 